Hey people, so um, <laughs> I am out in my dad's garage. This is his workshop. Um, I wanted to kind of give you a little update of what's going on with me because the, again, I'm making these for me, not for anyone else. But if anybody else happens to get anything from them, great. Um, I'm going to show you something. So, this guy right here, this little stand, okay, now, for most people, when they look at this stand, are just going to see, oh, it's just a stand, and, you know, it you know, could look really, it looks really, you know, kind of nice, kind of professional, whatever, my dad and I made that. And this is the first thing that my dad and I have made in together in I don't know how many years. This is also the first time that I've ever had to use see right a, right up here right there that grinder. I use that for the first time ever. I had to learn and make all the mistakes of cutting metal. And I wound up, you know, drilling the holes for the casters. I wound up cutting up a lot of the metal on this saw right, right here. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, yeah, this saw right here. And I had never done that in my entire life. Even when I was a kid, we know you think, and the fact of that, you know, right now, my dad is doing that. You know, you know how, getting me involved and having me help him on this, and we're going to wind up making some more stuff um, for, because, you know, for all of these cabinets and everything. Yeah. That's because my brother over th over there um, set up a little workshop, and he's got because he's a cabinet maker by trade, and I, you know, when he came, you know, got this set up, he started making all these. You know, it's been <laughs> been interesting to see all that happen, and one of the things I want to show you guys is something that for most people is not really impressive this is the outside of the shop um this car yeah that's now mine <laughs> the 2000 you know ford um taurus xl see right there yeah still have to get it licensed and you know smogged and insured and all the other fun things that you need to do but I I've been coming to a realization most of my life I have never had a chance to just stop I when things happened in my life they were immediate this needs to be done now this needs to be happened now so on and so on but since I've been here I've had to learn to just relax <laughs> I know for most people it's like oh that's you know, that's not a big deal. It's like for me, it is. I've had that car now for, you know, a week, a week, week and a half. And we're not going to be able to get it registered until midweek next week. And then we got to worry about getting it smogged and all the other fun things we have to do to get on the road. But this is the first time in, you know, a long time in my life that I've had where I can just stop and not 
I don't have anything to do right now. I don't have, you know, to worry about waking up tomorrow morning to go to work. I don't have to worry about paying rent. I don't have to worry about where my food's coming from. You know, yes, I'm, you know, I'm still, you know, you know, all of my subscriptions and stuff are still coming out of my bank account, so I do need to get some money, but I'm in a position right now at this moment where I can just stop. And it's given me time to reevaluate and look at what do I really want. And I kind of have some ideas and have some thoughts and have some, you know, some goals, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Sound quality in here is probably horrible, and if that is, I don't care. These are just like I said, this video is meant for me. This is just to remind me of this journey that I'm taking. This entire journey, I'm going to film videos of what I want, you know, what you know, what's going on. You know, one of the things with that car is I want to put a um, ball, and, um, ball and hitch on it um, so I can put a small little trailer on it that I can turn into a food cart that I can take to events and I want to start my own thing. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know if it will happen. But things like that little metal stand that shows that my parents are listening to me. Something that I've never felt that support from him before. But they're making sure that, you know, my dad is teaching me the skills that I need to get done what I need to get done. And he, we didn't get a chance to do that when I was a kid. Doing it now. You know, and cause my dad was very much like me. And I've, you know, where he just was, everything was... What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? And I haven't gotten, you know, he, he finally was able to get that. I'm slowly getting that. And it's, it is. You know, but like I said, um, I am still going to go back and do more videos on the BDSM subject, so if you're still watching this video and you have something you want me to talk about, you know what to do. There's a comment box. Um, I am going to be doing a video, another, you know, start doing the videos again of um, thing Mike, things like Mike Likes. Um, starting off with my, with a video that I've been wanting to do for a while about Discworld. Um, the, uh, the book series, um, more specifically the audiobook series, but, you know, it's still, it's still the books. Um, so yeah, this is kind of where I'm at. Um, I kind of had one job, didn't work. I'm in, I'm in the running up for another job, but worst case scenario, I'm going to take that car and do food delivery and make some money until I can get my own thing started. But... Between now and then, I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'll make these videos periodically. Go from there. That's it for now, people. Be well and safe.